Today, we will see some misconceptions and common mistakes related to hundreds and thousands. Misconception 1. The teacher has written a number on the blackboard and asked the students to read it. Karan read it as 4.635, Gaurav read it as 4,635 and Nirmal read it as 4.635. Identify who read the given number correctly. Many times, decimal numbers are read incorrectly. Here, Karan read the digits after the decimal point collectively as one number and Gaurav simply ignored the decimal point and changed the value of the number while reading it. Therefore, Option 1 and Option 2 are both incorrect. The correct understanding is that the digits to the left of the decimal point are read as a whole number, but it is incorrect to read the digits on the right side of the decimal point as a whole. We only read the digits after the decimal point. Therefore, the given number is read as 4.635. Thus, Nirmal has read it correctly. Misconception 2. Samir's mother has given him one-fourth part of a cake and given 0.125 part of the cake to Hina. Who received the larger portion of cake in your opinion? Some students think that decimal numbers are always greater than fractions. They don't use mathematical operations for comparison and simply consider that Hina must have received a larger portion. With this understanding, Incorrect answer option 2 is chosen. In order to compare 1 fourth and 0 0.125, we need to represent both the numbers either in decimal form or in fractional form. Let's represent them in decimal form. Since 0 0.125 is already in decimal form, we will not make any changes to it. To represent 1 fourth in decimal point, we will multiply the numerator and denominator by 25. By doing so, we get the equivalent fraction of 1 fourth as 25 by 100. Its decimal form will be 0 0.25. Now, we will compare 0 0.25 and 0 0.125. Here, the whole part is equal in both numbers. So, we will compare the digits at tens place. Since 2 tenths is greater than 1 tenths, it is clear that 0 0.25 is greater than 0 0.125. Therefore, we can say that Samir has received a larger portion. So, option 1 is the correct answer. Now we will see the common mistakes related to hundreds and thousands. Some students do not know that the place value of a number keeps on decreasing as we move from left to right. By looking at the similar kind of names on both sides of the decimal point, students think that the value of such places is equal. For example, in 0 0.428, they think that there are four tens, two hundreds and eight thousands. This is a misunderstanding. The correct understanding is that there are four tenths, two hundreds and eight thousands. Today, we have seen misconceptions and common mistakes related to hundreds and thousands.